Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Love Fix. Hope everyone had a nice Christmas and a happy New Year 2021. Bit of a weird thing to say as we're still in a pandemic and me being in the UK, we've just been locked down again. So that sucks, but you know, positive thinking and all that. So today, this is episode or video number seven. It's been a while since I've made a video. <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me, as always, when I start talking, I have a frog in my throat. Yes, it's been a while. I've not recorded anything since August. I've uploaded some videos recently that I recorded back in August, but um, life got in the way and I've been away working a lot on myself and many other projects. And I'm happy to say I'm, and I'm, I'm in a far better place than I was. So I am going to concentrate on trying to give everybody the benefit of that experience and some advice. So today we're going to be talking about don't manipulate your ex. In fact, don't manipulate your partner full stop. Now, if you're listening to this, you're listening to this because you want breakup advice. You want some direction, you're trying to make sense of it all. Why has your boyfriend, girlfriend decided to leave the relationship? So you're likely in full panic mode right now. You're trying to find reasons to contact them. You're trying to find way, clever ways of getting them to come back. And that is that just won't ever work. This is never going to work. It's the incorrect method. The fact is, <clears throat> if they left the relationship, they probably made their mind up quite some time ago. Now, there are exceptions to that. Maybe it was a spare of the moment thing. You had you had a big argument about the same subject, can't resolve it, and that they just broke, snapped, and they decided to leave the relationship. But a lot of the time, they've been thinking about this for a while, sometimes weeks, months, even years. And then they've made up their mind. Now that they are now steadfast in their decision. And the more you try to convince them to come back, the more you try to convince them that you will change or you can work on it, the more you will convince them of their decision is the correct decision for them to walk away from that relationship. <clears throat> so essentially, you're having the opposite effect. You're actually validating their choice, their decision of ending this relationship, which, by the way, is not easy for them. They're going through a torrid time as well. Maybe not as torrid as you are going through it right now. You are dumpy. We get that initial shock, that initial pain. We normally feel it a lot quicker than the, the, the dumper would feel it. But if you continue to manipulate and you continue to pursue, they are going to be steadfast in their decision they're going to be telling themselves that their decision is validated that they've made the right decision for them and that's the thing guys <clears throat> it's very easy for us as the dumpies to judge their decision to think that that being unreasonable and that being nasty when in fact we have to not support that would be the wrong word but understand and respect their decision to walk away. They feel how they feel and that is totally okay. You feel how you feel and that's, and that's okay. At the moment, you're probably in some kind of anxiety spiral and you just want that to go away. So you're going to take or do anything you can just to take the edge off that. And the thing that you want to do is to get your ex back because it will bring your anxiety down. But the more you push your ex to... Try and convince them that you're the one for them, that everything's going to be great and it's going to be like a Disney movie, the more you'll push them away. So the mature response, the correct response, the position of strength that you need to be in is just to let them be, is to understand 
their thought process, don't judge them for it, and just let them be, back off. Let them do what they need to do. Now, this may be a temporary thing, they just may need some space from you. Maybe them saying, okay, I'm breaking up with you is really code for, I just need some time away from you. <clears throat> However, you should always assume that this breakup is permanent, that they really do mean it, and that they're never coming back. And if you have that thought process in your head, you will start to act accordingly. You will start to focus on you, go, go away and do the work on you. Everyone needs to work on themselves at some point in their lives. In fact, it's a lifelong pursuit, so we should always be working on ourselves. Now, if you're going through a breakup, chances are there are things that you need to work on. And the chances are there are things that your ex needs to work on. And that's okay. As long as you recognise that you contributed to this breakup as well. Barring any kind of form of abuse, physical, mental, and assuming that you actually had a good relationship, you had good times, and those good times outweighed the bad times. You just need to back off. Give them the space. Give them the time. And this is the best way to give you to give sorry, let me rephrase that. This will give you the best possibility of a reconciliation. I'm not saying they will come back. I don't know. I don't know your situation. And you don't know what's in your ex's head. They may have made their mind up and, and just thought to themselves, right, this is never going to work. I want better than this. I'm no longer in love. That is a possibility. But they will never figure this out if you're trying to manipulate, to persuade them, to convince them to come back. They're going to be horribly confused. And it's not a relationship. It's not love if you're manipulating someone into being with you. So whatever plan that you have in your head, whatever manipulation tactic that you may be thinking of, and I don't judge you for that, we've all been there, but these things do not work. I know how painful it is and you just want to get out of this anxiety, anxiety spiral. That is totally okay. But there's positive ways of dealing with this and there are negative ways of dealing with this. And manipulation and persuading them to come back is not the correct way. So do yourself a favour. Back off. Listen to them. Respect what they're telling you. Even if you don't agree. <clears throat> which is highly likely that you don't agree with their assessment of the relationship, their assessment of you and their, their assessment of themselves. You probably have the exact opposite viewpoint. That's okay. You don't have to agree. But you do have to understand. You do have to come from a position of not judging them and saying, okay, I hear you, I don't agree, I think we've got something really special, but if this is what you want, that is totally fine, I will leave you alone. If you change your mind, you let me know, and then you walk away and you do not look back. You assume the worst. You assume that they're never coming back. You start working on yourself. You start giving yourself the self-love and the self-care that you deserve. You start working on things that you need to, to improve. Get back into the gym, okay? <clears throat> if you're like me in the UK, we're, we've just been put into a full lockdown at the moment and the gym's closed, which personally is driving me crazy. But you can go for walks. You can work out at home. You can plan what you're going to do for this year. Write down some targets that you want to meet, some goals that you want to achieve. Now, it could be something as simple. And I'll give you an example of, of uh, some of the goals that I've mapped out for myself for 2021. Is that continue to read more books, self-development books. Continue to practice my drums and get better at that. Continue to work on myself, to give myself self-love. These, these things are nothing crazy. 
there are places that I want to go, but that's quite impossible right now. So as soon as COVID is over, I will be planning some trips somewhere with friends. <clears throat> so take your time. Write down what you need to do. And you will be absolutely fine. You will get through this. It's okay. I understand. It's painful. But you need to appreciate that your ex is also going through their own version of their pain. And we have to understand and respect that. And if you can do that, they will have much more respect for you. And it will improve your chances of a reconciliation. However, don't have that in your head that they're going to come back. Assume that they never come back and act accordingly. That's all I've got for today. Thank you for listening. If you like the content, please subscribe and hit a like. It would really help me out. If you want personalized advice, advice? Yeah, if you want personalized advice, <clears throat> down my throat today. Drop a comment underneath or drop me an email, which will be on the video here. And I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Have a great day, guys. Happy 2021. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you are safe and you're well. And the COVID situation isn't too bad for you. If you're locked down, I get it. I understand. But you're going to be fine. And I will see you on the other side. Take care.